All right, y'all. So I got this sample by uh, Johnny Plate called Constant Wind. And this is actually a, a really dope. It's a jazz. I guess I could consider it a jazzy kind of sample. Um, but I'll play the section that I grabbed. Um, you guys can go find the sample or go dig for it. But I'm not, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I'll play the sample. You'll be able to see what it is. And I just grabbed this quick section right here. <laughs> And that's a really dope sample. Um, so after that, instead of using Serato sample, I just did something quick, put it in a FL slicer, and now I have you know my uh, 16 chops. Really dope, really dope sample. I like that sample. So I'm gonna, I've, I got drums already as well. I built this uh, this dope drum pattern up. And I'm going to try and build the, the uh, sample around that. So, yeah, let's go. All right, so I slowed the drums down a little bit. I was at 180, um, so I took it down to about 174-ish to kind of keep it at a... I don't want to go too fast with it, right? So, yeah, so I've, I've taken the sample, the, pit, the tempo down. I've taken the tempo down and see. We're going to see what the sample sounds like on top of the drums at this level here. So now I'm to the point where now I need some bass. I need a really dope bass line. And of course, you guys know I use Sakura a lot um, for a lot of bass now. I was using Native Instruments and I, you know, sometimes still use the Native Instruments complete bundle for the bass. But for this one specifically, I'm going to pull out Sakura. I've already, you know, messed with it and got my effects on it. Um, I got some guitar rig. I got the Sound Toys guitar, the decapitator on it. And yeah, so I'm going to drop the bass in really quick. I've kind of off camera was messing around with some of the notes and just kind of seeing what I can do here. Um, so I'm going to try and add that in really quick for you guys. All right. <laughs> so I finished the beat I'm done with the beat for the most part it's got the bass got the sample in there um and then I have this uh like bass saw is it's a lead bass saw in Poison and FL Studio I always tell you I don't sleep on the stock plugins because they always have some dope sounds and Poison is one of those plugins that have some dope really dope sounds so I feel like I may be adding too much or doing too much if I do do this, but I don't know. I'm going to see. All right. So I'm going to just kind of mess around with it until I find something and then I guess close it out from here. All right. So I'm going to kind of record this and see what I can do, but nothing comes about. It is what it is. All right, guys. So if you guys are liking this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit the bell button as well so you don't miss any more of these videos. Join my Discord as well. Uh, You know, join it because there's other producers in there. Come join us. All right. Join the Discord, 
Let's talk, let's talk music production, tips and tricks. You also get a 15% off coupon code for boatloadkits.com. That is my kit site where I sell a lot of my my sounds, my drum kits, my loop packs, sample packs, all of that good stuff. It is there at boatloadkits.com. But for joining and becoming a member of my Discord, you do get 15% off of any purchase from the site. All right, y'all? So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to start. I'm going to mess, just mess around with the lead. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But yeah, so till next time, y'all, I love all of you guys. Keep boom, keep boom bapping. Go create that boom bap. Keep cooking up that boom bap. You already know. All right. Yeah, let's go.